Potato Smasher wants to know my thoughts about the TBS Source 1 V5. Uh, the TBS Source 1 V5, so the Source 1 is an open source frame developed by the community and the uh, files are put out there by TBS that anyone can cut them or sell them. Uh, and one of the controversial, so what, what that means is that it's very cheap, $29.95 for the TBS version of it. Uh, but there have been a lot of iterations of it and I think a lot of people don't feel that the V5 is their favorite iteration. It seems like with the V5, they tried to lighten the frame somewhat. And I've heard some complaints about the durability of the V5. Whereas the V3 is a little bit more of a traditional, well, old fashioned design. But I've heard people say they feel like it's more durable. The beauty is that you can pick. And to be honest with you, at the price of $29 or $26, I think it's hard to go wrong. Like these are not the most cutting edge frames, but it's really nice to be able to buy uh, a frame for an extremely inexpensive price and know that you're not like ripping anybody off or taking food out of anybody's mouth. The people who did the development on this frame, they did it open source and for free with the understanding that they were contributing their work and that other people would make money off of it. They were okay with it. They wanted to do it. And so it's not like somebody cloned a frame and cut it out of cheap ass carbon. It's, it's, you're basically paying for the carbon and a little bit of overhead for the store and, and everybody's happy with it. And that's, uh, that's really good. So I would always rather see somebody buy a source one frame instead of buy, and I'm not going to put one on screen because I don't want to, you know, steer traffic towards it, but instead of buying like a, a Chinese clone of an, an impulse RC apex. Right. And look, if you've bought an Impulse RC Apex clone, I, I don't care. It's not like I'm going to turn my nose and say, get out of here, get out of my presence, you. Like, I, you, you know, I'm not here to judge. <clears throat> if I, uh, you know, was a frame manufacturer, I might feel differently, but I'm not. So, yeah, whatever. But, you know, if you can, then it's nice to be able to do that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Toasty Ghost uses a TBS Source 1 V5. What's wrong with the V4? Uh, was the V4 the one that was not very strong? Al Max says the V5 is okay. Uh, Mark H broke a top and bottom plate on his V5, but with a failed inverted yaw spin, so maybe, uh, you know, everything breaks eventually. Uh, the V3, good for old individual ESCs. Yes, that's true. The source one is 100 times better than a clone of anything. So I guess I guess I would say this. Do some research on whether you want the V3, the V4, or the V5. I'm not actually completely up to date. Like, I actually am not sure if the V4 was the one that had durability problems, and maybe they're fixed in the V5. Do some research. I know that people say the V3 is bulletproof. Well, bulletproof. I mean, nothing's bulletproof, but... Uh, and for 25 bucks... You could do like, oh, it doesn't come with a warranty. Yeah, but you can buy four of them for the price of one Apex. Not bad. Um, okay. 